Okay, independent client, customer uh, Mitch. This is a A-frame home uh, in, down in the uh, Estill Springs area. Uh, let me go over real quick what we've got. You've got a tile floor. It looks like it's underneath everything. If you take a look here, you can see that there's no tile missing where they've removed the old cabinets. If you look over here, you can also see a full tile uh, as far as like the toe base is exposed. So I believe they tiled the entire concrete slab before they actually put the cabinets in place. And that's a good thing because that means we can change some things around, move some things around without any problems. One thing I see here is this is a 42 inch sink base and uh, you don't have a lot of extra room on this wall. Uh, so we're thinking about maybe putting a 12 inch cabinet or a nine inch cabinet here at the end and doing like a 33 inch sink base. And that will give you uh, a little bit smaller sink base, a little bit more cabinet space at the end, maybe a 12 and a 30. Uh, would like to consider doing a single bowl sink instead of a double bowl sink, uh, just because we can get some more cabinet space on this wall that means something. Uh, up here on the wall then we would mirror that. That'd be a 12 inch cabinet on the right. Be a 30 12 in the center here as a step up above the above the sink, and then we actually do the cabinets across. Now we're looking at keeping a 24 inch dishwasher. Uh, we do need to add an end panel. This is incorrect. There's nothing here to hold the countertop up, so we need an end panel here. 30 inch. Uh, freestanding stove. Then this is gonna become a 33 inch refrigerator space. Uh, customer's telling me he wants just to get a drawer cabinet here between these if possible, uh, just to have some space around the, uh, the range in the refrigerator section. Take a look here at the end. This is actually a half wall. Uh, so this is in the drawing as a wall, four and a half inches wide, but it is a half wall. So this is not being changed because that has obviously got tile cut around it. Now let's talk about the columns overhead. That line that you see on the wall is 84 inches. So that piece of board, that two before that's above that will need to be removed before we actually go to install. Uh, that uh, space right there with the actual wire coming out, need to figure out what's going on with the wiring, whether we're gonna have under cabinet lights or whether we're gonna have any kind of wiring inside of the cabinets. All that stuff needs to be taken care of before we come. Above the sink line right here would be a good place to have a wire come out. I'll give you a center line for it if you wanna put a light above your sink. Um, here on this one, over the range microwave is probably what was there before. Uh, customer was saying he wants to do a freestanding microwave over here on the other side, just to be able to get more wall cabinet space in this area. You still have to have a range hood. You cannot do this without some type of a fire break above the stove. Uh, so a range hood would probably be appropriate in like an 18 inch cabinet right above where that is. Use that for the range hood. Now take a look on this wall. This is your outer A-frame on the wall of the house. Uh, so here on the right hand side, you got a vent that's down low and you got some cabinets that are white right here to the right of it. These access holes that you see are all gonna be covered. Uh, if you look right here, there's a down low receptacle. That's gonna carry for the receptacle on the left hand side. There's 128 inches between the edge of that and the side of that vent. So we're gonna go with 123 inches of cabinets, about two and a half inches off both ends uh, to fit nice. The only thing I do see is that right here, there is a break in the plane. You can see this right here, there's a break between these two. So this wall that's set here, this is a chase. I bet there is something probably buried in here as far as electrical for the upstairs. Uh, but as far as height goes, our cabinets will come up to 34 and a half inches off the floor. Your countertop can then go back and hide and go into these corners and hide some of that that's offset, but we'll only be able to use the blocked out area. That spacing right there where that is probably needs to be removed to where we have a single run of wall, a single plane for the cabinets to sit against the wall. Otherwise, the floors are finished underneath it. There won't be any problem with that. Give you a quick overview of the room where you can see the spacing. Spiral staircase goes up to the top area over here on this side. And be mindful too, the thermostat uh, for this is here. So the air handler uh, for this house might be outside as a package unit, I'm not sure. I can tell right there is where the vent for the return is. Again, just make sure before we cover these areas here with, uh, with cabinets that there's not gonna be any need to get into those ventilation cavities. If you have any questions about this, feel free to give me a call at 423-650-1051. Have a good day.